dahil Valentine's Day, napapanood pong pag-usapan ng mga story ng mga successful couples. To know more about it, let us all welcome our very special guest this morning. We have Miss Eliza Francisco Rivera, of course, <laughs> wife of um, Robert Rivera, former Undersecretary, Office of the Press Secretary. At sila po ay kasala for 16 years. Good morning, welcome to Good Morning Boss. Yes. Ayag, dayan, isang umagang punong-puno ng pag-ibig sa iyo at sa lahat ng nanonood sa Good Morning Boss. Happy Valentine's to all. Happy Valentine's. Of course, talagang punong-puno ng pag-ibig before we start with our interview. Let's all watch this. Talagang punong-puno ng pag-ibig ngayong umaga at parang bagong kasalang. Good morning again. Welcome to Good Morning, Boss. Good morning. Good morning, Diane. And um, happy, happy Valentine's to all the million televiewers of Good Morning, Boss. Alright, to start off, we're all very excited to know about your love story. Can you tell us more about this? Okay. Ibang version ng he said, saka she said, <laughs> mauna na siya. Okay, he said. Alright, uh, it started when I... Uh, saw her without her knowing that I was watching her during the launching of our project in Tagaytay. And uh, against the backdrop of Ta Ta Taal Lake and the mist of the cloud, wow. yeah, I, I saw her through. And I said, hmm, this lady, this girl, she's going to be my wife. Ikaw naman, Miss Eliza. Ayun nga. What's the version of your love story? Noon kasing nakita niya ako, wala akong kamalay-malay na nakita niya ako. Tapos yun na yung naisip niya. Basta nung una lang na nakita ko siya sa Tagaytay, sabi ko lang, hindi naman. Sabi ko lang, pogi yung developer na yun na sa kabata pa. Kasi normally kala ko pag developer, medyo may edad na yun. Tapos after two years, tumawag siya or may, nagpadala siya ng emisaryo para tawagan ako dun sa work ko. Uh, 
of course, nag-post siya kung wari, nabibili sa akin ng maraming maraming kotse. So, ang tingin ko sa kanyang mukha nung time na yon ay isang kliyente na magbibigay sa akin ng dalawang buwang kota sa Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ang nangyari, hindi siya bumili sa akin, pero nakakota siya sa akin ng dalawa. Magagaling na. Dalawa na. na. <laughs> Kota kaming dalawa. Yes. Alam natin. Pero actually, tatlo yung anak namin. Mm. Meron akong, uh, meron siyang anak sa first marriage. Pero mm. close na close naman course, kami. Consider, and, and I treat yes. him as my own son. Wow, that's Kaya so si sweet. Kasi Ernest. Mm. Uh, sa tatlo yung aming mga champion sa buhay. <laughs> Pero I also want to know, syempre kapag talagang sa pagmamahal, hindi mo wala ang challenges. So what are the usual challenges na kinakaharap and ano yung mga solusyon natin dito? Well, yeah. I think one of the biggest challenges that came was when I got hit by the big C. Mm -hmm. And uh, for almost 11 months, uh, she stood by my side 24-7 aside from the nurses in the hospital mm -hmm. and uh, unlike any other couple who are stricken by this kind of news mm -hmm. that you have cancer I think most of them will be traumatized yes. but uh, with the help of God yes. we were able to uh, overcome cope and uh, survive so diyan talaga pumapasok yung sinasabi nila no pagmamahal sa hirap at ginhawa. Yes. So diyan talaga matetest yung totoong pagmamahal. And how do you find real love? Uh, well, in the physical realm, I think uh, real love is something beyond the warmth and the glow, the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. But uh, real love is not total absorption in each other. Yeah. It is looking outward in the same direction together. Life's burdens becomes lighter because you share them. Yes. And it makes joys more intense because you share them. And it makes you stronger. Yeah. So you can reach out and become involved with life yeah. in ways you dared not risk alone. Yes. And if you put Christ at the center that's of right. it all, yes. then love, that's what makes love uh, Go round. Love. And if yeah. you put God in everything, yeah. divine, yes. the center of your relationship, yes. you, you make Him as your foundation, yes. everything That's will be okay. Yes. Pero also, we want to know, no, ano ba yung mga tips or advices na mabibigay nyo sa mga kabataan ngayon? Lalo na, syempre, very successful yung naging love story ninyo. Yung iba dyan nag aspire maging katulad nyo. May mga iba dyan sawe, heartbroken, para sa lahat ng mga single ngayong darating na Valentine's Day. So, do you have any tips or advices for them? Ako, sa mga married couples, ang Meron kasi kami tinatawag ni Robert na triangle. Equilateral triangle. So, God, Robert, Eliza. So, yun yung naging <laughs> pamantayan namin. Kapag ka, sabi mo nga, if you put God at the center, I think uh, there's no way to go but to succeed. Eh. Of course, may challenges, pero you know that God is with you. Malalampasan mo lahat ng pagdadaanan mo. At saka, if you will base your definition of love in... Ako kasi, personally, dun sa 1 Corinthians chapter 13, diba? Love is patient, love is kind, yes. love is not jealous, love is not proud. Alam mo na, love never fails, love bursts all things, believes all things, trusts all things, hopes all things. Para sa akin, kapag yun yung ginawa mong pamantayan ng totoong pag-ibig, you can never go wrong. That's right. Pero, yeah. syempre, Ms. Eliza, you also have a book para dun sa mga viewers natin, most especially sa mga kabataan yun, para may guidelines sila pagdating mm. sa pag-ibig. Would you like to invite them to get a copy of your book? Oh, yeah. Uh, mga kaibigan, uh, meron po akong sinulat na libro. Ito po yung compilation ng mga uh, istorya ng iba't ibang klaseng tao from all walks of life. Nakasulat daw yung mga pinagdaanan nilang problema, hindi lang sa buhay kundi sa pag-ibig. At uh, doon po itinuturo ko ano yung solusyon para malampasan ng anumang pinagdadaanan ng uh, sino man sa buhay. So it points to the real solution which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our solution to our problem. At saka kung paano natin ihahandle. That's right. All right, thank you so much for sharing your love story with us. May you be, uh, may you continue to inspire others, lalo na yung mga kabataan ngayon. And of course, dahil dyan, meron kaming uh, regalo, ang hinanda, ang good morning. Wow! 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 Sweet! Happy, happy Valentine's Day! Thank you, thank you. Ang sweet na one. Robert, it's a life. Oh, thank you. Thank you.
very much. So much. By the way, the book is now available yeah. online. online. Yeah, the book is available online by vibebookstore.com. So globally available po siya para sa lahat. Maraming salamat po. Thanks for having us Thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you, PTV4, and to the entire staff yeah. and management. And to you, Diane. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And po si na Ms. Eliza Francisco Rivera, wife of, of course, former Undersecretary, Office of the Press Secretary, Mr. Robert Rivera.